Despite the new crowds, Andrean Dumas has been a beneficiary of Corin's success in the water, both as a surfer and as an instructor at Corin's Surf School. So Andrean was one of the first people as well, like probably one of the first 10, 15 people that I got surfing. She learned really fast. I mean, she's been surfing for three years now. It's my fourth year. It's your fourth year? Four years? I wish I could surf like that after four years. Jeez, I was still a complete tool after four years of surfing. But it, it was not very easy at the beginning because I was a little bit scared and uh, not, not in shape. Her first ride, her very, very first ride, she catches a wave, surfs it for about five or six minutes, got up on your knees, yeah. surfed it, then surfed it drop foot, yeah. and then stood up, not for very long, but stood up for 10, 15 seconds before wiping out. First ride. Second ride, surfed it standing for a minute or so, and just <laughs> uphill from there. Like, eventually made her a board, I was like, okay, this board's gonna be a little bit aggressive for you, but you'll figure it out, and you know, you'll, you'll grow into it, and grow into it. it. Took her all three days to grow into the week eight, and she's like, yeah, it's a little big, you got anything smaller? Because of the teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Corin Addison seems to have had success with many of his students. And although he comes from the beautiful beaches and big waves of South Africa, it seems like he'll never leave Montreal. I can only think of about five reasons to move to Montreal. The first one being uh, the women. The second being um, the wave. Then four real seasons. I mean, you know, when winter comes, you're happy it's here. And then when winter ends and summer comes, boy, you're happy it's here. So that's three of the reasons. The other two reasons are, did I mention the women here? And did I mention the waves? Anyway, that's two more. I can live anywhere I want. I can open a surf shop anywhere I want. You don't see me moving. I'm not living in Indo. I'm not living in California. Can't beat this. No ocean wave can beat this. Why would I move there? That would be insanity. This wave's there every day. I don't have to worry about high tide, low tide. I don't have to check the forecast. I don't need to see whether or not there's a swell coming through. And I don't need to deal with 50 other people on my wave at the same time swimming for the same wave all at once. There's a lineup. Everybody takes their turn. When I wake up, I know my wave's here. When I go to sleep, I know it's there. Why would you live anywhere else? And I think everybody else here feels the same way. Another of Corin's former surf mates has surfed all over the world, but keeps coming back to Montreal to his favorite waves. His name, Jean-Louis saint -Alnaud. I started actually surfing in Tofino, came back to Montreal. Then I had like a flash. I said, oh, kayakers are surfing. We should try it on surfboard. It was really hard at that time to get bored, so we, um, we made some of uh, duct tape and foam and we used them as bodyboard. And year after year, we got better quiver and at one point we were surfing on the river. A veteran of the Montreal surf scene, Jean-Louis has surfed every wave that the Montreal area has to offer. There is a Habitat 67, the like a family spot. And you have just back here, the Rapid of Lachine. That's where I surf most of the time. We're maybe five guys surfing here. It's really a um, bigger rapid, uh, bigger volume, some more hazard, faster flowing wave, and some really good waves actually. A small little one where we learn on, it's called Vagegi. Yeah. It's like a one feet wave and like 10 feet wide, but it's just fun, you can just stand there. The Stuff Productions crew first met Jean-Louis surfing on the prairies. But even with all the surf travel he's done, his favorite surf spot remains here. Where's your favorite spot to surf in Canada? Here. here. Big Joe, yeah. The Montreal river surf scene was an impressive one to see. But they're not the only ones surfing in rivers across Canada.